H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. To 40 minutes. Okay. So let us start with it. Okay, this is just a basic introduction about Selenium. Okay, because some of you were not there in the previous session, so that is why. Okay, so okay, this one question here. Let's take the question. Is it necessary to understand Java to learn Selenium training? Uh, this is a question, very important question by Tech. Okay, is it necessary to understand Java? to learn selenium training yes this is very you know important to understand java before we can start working with selenium the reason is uh, i'll be declare uh, telling you the reason in these slides will be coming across the reason in these slides okay so your doubt will be clear but yes the question answer to your question is yes it is necessary to understand java to start working with selenium without java we cannot work in selenium Okay, uh, we'll, I'll be coming to a slide where I'll be explaining why do we need C Java in Selenium. Okay, so when we are going to start with Selenium, we must be knowing about why are we studying Selenium. Okay, there's one competitor available in the market that is called as QTP. Okay, nowadays this is also, also called as UFT. Okay, so we must be knowing why we are not learning QTP? Why are we learning Selenium? So, if you see here, I have taken a screenshot from a website that is called as in, <coughs> Indeed.com. There, you can also search. Okay, this is uh, the relative percentage growth of Selenium and QTP jobs. Okay, from right from 2012 to 2016. Okay, and this is it for US market, not in uh, any other market. This is in US market. So you can also search it by yourself, indeed.com. So here you can see I've added two, phrase, uh, two keywords, Selenium and QTP. And if you see what is the percentage growth in Selenium jobs as compared to QTP jobs, you can see it is moving in an upward manner, Selenium jobs, the growth in Selenium jobs, the demand in Selenium jobs has increased by more than 50 percent in last four years okay this is the increase in the last four years whereas in case of qtp it is exactly opposite it is coming downwards okay right from 2012 and and in four in four years it has exactly moved around 50 percent Okay, Selenium increased by 50% and QTP's demand decreased by 50%. The reason for this we are going to get, we are going to see in a moment. Okay, but just to show you how the demand for Selenium is increasing day by day, okay, right from 2012. And that is the reason we should be spending our time and energy in understanding Selenium because this is the tool which is going to rule the market in the coming years, not the QTP. Okay, QTP used to rule. In the, in the market in the previous years but not now now selenium rules the market okay so that is the reason we should be spending our time and energy to learn selenium the next slide is uh, i've included one more term here manual testing apart from selenium and qtp what if i'm in a job of manual testing and i, I keep uh, you know working in manual testing what are my prospects that i'll be working in this manual testing only so you can see here the demand for manual testing is almost stagnant okay up to 2013 mid 2013 it was almost uh, similar to selenium but after that it came down and it is stagnant it sometimes goes down and it comes up but it is you can see almost stagnant there was uh, if you want to see only two to three percent of increases there in the demand of manual job but in case of selenium it is too big it is more than 50 percent but in case of manual testing jobs it is two percent right so even if you're working in manual testing 
nowadays your senior management is asking like you know learn selenium if you are already in a manual testing project or if you're looking for a job and if you're trying to move into a manual testing job even then the recruiters are asking that you must be knowing selenium okay the person who only has knowledge of manual testing nowadays it is very hard to get a job who can expect a work only in manual testing okay so it is the right time to start learning selenium because in the coming one year or so people are going to switch completely to selenium yeah of course uh, that is true that we cannot do all the work in automation testing we can you know some manual testing was always required everything cannot be automated but you know there is some there is a rule which says that 70 to 80 percent of the test cases can be automated only 20 percent of the cases are there in which we require manual testing okay for those 70 to 80 percent of the test cases now everyone is looking for a person who is having a knowledge in selenium right so even if you delay it right now uh, you'll have to learn it after say eight months or one year because this is what the current industry trend is Okay, the industry is moving towards selenium right so this is right time to start working to start learning selenium okay so let's move on to the next slide okay this is just you know i something included okay the companies who did not keep pace with the time who just said that okay we are complacent with what we are doing they lost the market Okay, there's one question here with this course can we be able to complete compete with the market there was question by Sravadan yes of course Sravadan whatever we're going to study okay this whatever the uh, has been included in the course if you go through the course content you can ask for the course content to uh, h2k enforces at the rate gmail.com team okay they'll be forwarding to you a course content in that you can see whatever we are going to study that is exactly what the current industry is asking you what they are expecting from you okay not all the topics which have been included in that they will be asking okay but you know different organizations would be asking different concepts from those uh, topics so we'll be covering everything so that you move no matter in which organization you move on you will be having the knowledge of all the concepts okay suppose we have uh, just to example give you an example if we have included 70 concepts in the uh, course content okay now uh, no one organization is going to use all those 70 concepts one organization would be using 30 concepts one would be using 50 concepts one would be using 60 concepts okay but we are covering all the concepts possible concepts okay so no matter what you move in any organization you are able to compete you are able to move in into any organization okay so you'll be able to compete the only thing is you need to practice what we did selenium is not something like you just see and listen to me when i do okay of course you'll be understanding it but i'm explaining it but you also need to practice it what we do okay so until you do not write the code with with your own hands what you do not practice it with your own hands uh you know it is not going to stick in your mind of course you'll be able to understand you'll be able to grasp it but so that you retain it you understand it you have to practice okay so you'll be able to compete with anyone in the job market okay as i told you we are also going to prepare from the interview point of view i'll be forwarding you the documents whatever interview questions are asked so okay you won't have to worry about okay that they may ask this thing or they, that thing that is everything will be covered or the only thing is which is required from your side is you have to put in some efforts to practice okay rest rest assured that everything will be covered you won't face any problem when you move into the organization okay so these are just the organizations who did not keep pace with the time okay uh, like this is some like you know if someone says okay i'm working in manual testing my management is not asking to learn selenium so why should i learn selenium even if your management right now is not asking you to learn selenium that is similar to saying these companies were like you know we do not need to innovate we do not need to move on to new technology nokia was once a leader in the market mobile phone market but right now nokia does not exist reason it was complacent with the symbian operating system it was using in its phone but it did not take a 
sign when iOS was launched and Android was launched? Okay, this one question. So you think a person without any computer background can compete in the market? Can he or she? Yes, why not? Yeah. See, what decides your success in the market is how much effort do you put in? Okay, nobody came, nobody learned this selenium stuff in his graduation or in school days or in you know in his college days because selenium is a industry product that is never taught in your classes in schools or colleges everyone learned it during the jobs okay or they some put efforts by learn for learning it on their own if they had time okay so but whoever has learned selenium they have learned by putting in some extra efforts okay so it is not like uh, the person who is having a, a computer background or not that does not decide your success the thing which decides your success is how much effort do you put in okay so don't worry about that part if you ha don't have any uh, computer background you just need to be ready to learn that is what it is going to that is what is going to decide uh, your success All right Okay, and uh, there was one Yahoo. Okay, to, in 2002, they were about to buy Google, and in 2006, they were about to buy Facebook, but they did not. And now you can see where Yahoo is, and where are Google and Facebook. And same was the Kodak. They were the persons, they were the company who was the market leader. They were manufacturing camera reels. Okay, but they did not realize that memory chips are coming, and they should be moving to memory chips technology they keep they kept manufacturing those camera deals and now you know where they are okay so the point is you have to move according to the market you have to keep changing even though you are market leader you must be the uh, star performer in your project in manual testing right but now the time is you have to move on to selenium that is what the time that is what the requirement of the time is that is what i want to convey with this examples Right. So with this, we can move on to next slide. So what is the prerequisite to start with this course? The prerequisite is absolutely none. OK, this com this course has been designed completely for beginners. OK, the persons who did didn't have even a computer background. The only thing is, if you did not have any computer background, you have to put in extra effort. You have to suppose it, if the a person who is having a computer background, if he's uh, putting some two hours daily to practice, you may be required to put in three hours daily to practice. Okay, so you, if you practice, nobody can stop you from doing anything. Okay, so the course requirement is absolutely none. We do not expect that you have any computer background or a programming knowledge or anything. That is not required. But as I said, of course, efforts are required from your side as, as as well you have to practice because selenium is something that comes by practice only so what is testing okay uh, you might be knowing this definition that what is testing okay verifying whether the application works as expected or not okay just in, for, for the time being just ignore this web you just understand the definition that verifying whether the application works as expected or not. So what is application here? Application is something, a software which we create. It is also called as application. Okay, so when we create application, when we create software, we check it whether does it work its expected uh, work or not. Does it perform according to what is expected from it or not? Okay, so just to verify, whether the software is working as expected, we call we call it as testing. Okay, this one question by Upasana: Can we use Selenium for mobile app testing? Uh, Upasana, we can extend the concept of Selenium for mobile app testing. That is called as Appium. Okay, Selenium only helps us in automating web applications. Okay, uh, I'll be explaining what do we mean by web applications. It only helps us to automate web applications but not mobile applications to move into mobile applications there is an extension of selenium that is called as appium so using that appium we can move into mobile application testing but not with this what we are learning 
Okay, so this is what we call as testing. Okay, if the software is performing according to what is expected from it, then we call it as testing. Right now, coming to this concept, why have I written web application here? The reason I've written web application here, this is from the perspective of Selenium because we are going to verify web applications here. You know, what is a web application? I know what is website. I have heard of word website, but I never heard web application. What is this new word? So are they different or are they same web application and web testing uh, website? Website and web application are completely different things, right? So what is a website? Website is a web page which displays you a static content. For example, any news website if you open, okay? I'll just say you open bbc.com. So what is, is it going to display to you? Whatever the current news for today is, that will be displayed to you. If I open bbc.com, I'm also going to see that same page. If someone else opens that, he's also going to see the same page, right? So by static content means, irrespective of the person who is opening the page, the content displayed to all the person is same. Okay. Whereas on the other hand, a web application is different. It customizes the content for each user. For example, your facebook.com. Facebook does not display the same content to each user. Okay, depending upon the number of friends I have, depending upon the pages I have liked, depending upon my interests, depending upon the organization I work in, depending upon the country I live in, I'll be displayed a different news feed as compared to yours. You are going to see something else on your Facebook homepage. I'm going to see something else on my Facebook homepage. So for each user, they have customized the content. Okay, so when a web page displays you a customized content, we call it as a dynamic content is being displayed to all the users. Okay, so when a web page displays you a dynamic content, we call it as a web application. Whereas a web page when displays you a static content, we call it as a website. Okay, now creating a website is not a difficult task. The templates have been created. You just need to type in. Okay, for a news website, someone chose some pre-created template. They just wrote the content on the website. That's it. Okay, not much effort was put in to create a bbc.com website. On the other hand, a web application, for example, Facebook or Gmail, so much effort, effort was put in to write the code for that. Okay, it was not a pre-created template. They wrote the code for that, that how it should be looking, how it should be working. What should happen if I click on add friend? If, what should happen if I click on a person's profile page, uh, profile picture? What should happen if I write it on, uh, you know, if I try to write some message, how should I be using emote icons? So it is very complex in nature. Okay, so a web application is a software, complex software on the web. That is why it is called as web application. So a software on the web is called as web application or more technically we can call it as a software on the cloud is called as web application. What do we mean by cloud? Cloud means the application which I am accessing, it is stored somewhere on the servers at a different ge geographical location than that of mine. Facebook.com is not installed in my system, right? Similarly, Gmail is not installed in my system. Okay, I need an active internet connection to access those applications. Okay, they are softwares, they are very complex softwares, but they are not installed in my system. On the other hand, uh, calculator software is installed in my system, Microsoft Office is installed in my system, Adobe Photoshop is installed in my system, and so many other softwares as well, right? But Facebook is not installed in my system. So it is a software which is not installed in my system, but it is located somewhere on the web or somewhere on the cloud. I need an active internet connection to access that application. Okay. Using Selenium, we are going to test some kind of web application. Now, what kind of web application? That will depend the project you are going to join. Okay, you can be working in an ESPN project. You, you may be working some Wells Fargo project. You, you may be working in uh, Bank of America project. Okay, you can be working in any web application. 
okay that displays the dynamic content depends upon depending upon the customer so we are going to test web applications we are not going to test websites we are going to test web applications using selenium okay to test uh, to log in into an application web application i need an internet connection i go through the medium of web so that is why it is called as a web application okay so website and web application are completely different things website is a static content web page whereas web application is a dynamic content web page right so in selenium we are going to work with web applications and we are going to check for its accuracy whether they work as expected or not so broadly testing can be categorized into two different types the one is called as manual testing the other one is called as automation testing broadly we can categorize it again manual testing a person a, a human is sitting in front of a computer and doing the testing in case of 